Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Vampire Masquerade Swan Song. Um, thank you so much for all the support in the previous video. I really do appreciate it. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. So let's carry on without further ado. Uh, we're going to continue here. The last time we left off, we had met the Prince of the Primogen. Um, we started getting into the story a little bit. We didn't get too far. Um, We'd met M.M. Galeb. Uh, we didn't really meet Leisha all that much. Or Leisha, sorry. Um, so maybe we get to just see her a little bit more. And we also kind of got to grips with the feeding mechanics and a bit of other stuff as well. So let's just... Um, what else? No, wait. Hang on. We need to get to that one. The map. How do we bring up the map? Do we have a map? I can't remember. I think so. Okay. Anyway, it's fine. Yes. Uh, could I please leave? Can I help you? You can help me leave. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh. Yeah. He's, I kind of let everyone dry. Uh, you know, since since the last. So there's that. Okay. Um, who's brave? Fine journey. Ah, there we go. Show the gold. Okay. So take journey to the prince so we need to pick up journey uh what else we're all gonna die well that's a bit bleak but anyway can you ma'am uh, um entity servant can you please can i help you apparently not what else do we need to do here find journey take journey to the prince choose your prey i already did the, the feeding thingy majiki we, we did that Okay, so I'll take it. We gotta find Journey. What's this thing? Do you need me? Mm, no, not right now. Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. It's been a while. Can I help you? Yeah. Have you seen Journey? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. Does that count as advice? Okay. Uh, leave. I've got stuff to do. See you later. Yeah, we need to find Journey, bro. And take her back to the, the, the prince. Not there. I think this is April, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. What a shitty night. Do you no, think this was Sylvia. Do you last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? Well, yes. God, no. No, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Uh, okay, so there's a surveillance unit. The princess brought all to herself. I'm looking for Jane. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh, good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Oh, that okay. Is, you... You might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard... That's so that. rude. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Okay, so it's... Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. All to herself. Yes. That's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley Bedroom. is the only one who has access to them. Well, that would make them personal, yes. I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even yeah. think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. So, I'm guessing at some point we'll be Thanks told to go down. Vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. Thank you very much. Okay, she said alcove on the right. Okay. Just here before was... Was it? No. Because the security is not going to let me... Yes? Ah. <sighs> Do we... Like, we bust through here? What, 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 what's happening? I know that perfume. Jay. Oh, hang on. She right here. 
Oh, 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 hang on. Auspex enhances your five senses. This condition reveals new interactions, detecting sense into conversation from a distance, revealing the past of objects, or even experiencing premonitions. You can also discover items that have been hidden using supernatural powers. Okay, okay. So I'm assuming we use maybe here. No. Uh, we spoke to her. She didn't really do anything. I. Shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Jay. There we go. Okay, we got there in the. That's Jay's scarf. Uh, is that okay? Is that the extent of the examination? Okay, I'm dumb. Where did you go, Jay? Okay, so not through there. Got to follow her scent trail. I'm assuming. Oh, and now all of a sudden. Hello. All you had to do was let me through. All you had to do was do that like two minutes ago. You know that? Really crappy servant. Should we put to death? Mr. Bojangles. Zora's ears must be burning. Alright, we can talk to the lady. Archives. Do we need to get in? Dear all, please don't forget that if you have any issues with the archives, you need to contact Lazarus, not me. Thank you. Right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because we're going to be bypassed. Oh, we have that. Cool. Nah. I mean, I would assume bypassing the lock means we're not allowed in or we don't have entry. So, very, okay. Sure. Cool. Uh, right. Right. So. Hmm. Last items borrowed. File name Hartford Unification Party, Prince's Birthday Party, History of the Court, Bad Gala Bazary. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Bazary? Bazary? Maybe? Alright. Back set. We don't have the code, so let's find the code. Maybe? Perhaps? Mayhaps? Maybe. Oh, hang on. What's, what was that? What was that? Code is still the same. 9138. Bosley. Right. We have 9138. I don't think we can interact with the rest of these files. So let's punch in this code. 9138. Aha. Great stuff. Consumable. Consumables are single use items that provide bonuses. Most of the time, consumables are used to replenish willpower or eliminate hunger. Each type of gear has advantages and disadvantages when equipped. The effects of the gear apply as long as it is equipped. Gear may not be equipped or unequipped during a dialogue. Once they have been collected, uh, this is for documents, sorry. Once they have been collected, consu consultable items rather, phones, documents, etc. can also be consulted from inside your inventory. Okay, so we can revisit that. Cool, cool, cool. So, so far, no other gear. We have a consumable, which is a club business card. Raised on the warmth of hot jazz, MM has kept strong ties with a type of music synonymous with emancipation, energy, and greatness. The clubs, the Black Rattlers, are the embodiment of this passion swing. Oh, so restores two willpower. Okay, okay. I think we'll keep that for now. Uh, we still have three willpower. Mm, so far, it seems like we know where we need to go. Oh, it's the friggin' useless servant. Kelton and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. Secretary of Abigail Nomi. Nomi? Yeah. Cool. What is what is what do you have? Battery's dead. What is this guy following me around now? Don't keep his eye off the door now all of a sudden. History of the Jefferson Library. This library was closed in 1935 following the construction of the various university campuses. It was acquired by Miss Hazel Iverson in 1946. In 1960, Miss Iverson ceded it to members of the Gemini League, a resistance group fighting against English oppression, from the cities of Hartford and New Haven. Since then, the Hartford Chantry has moved in, discreetly at first, during the reign of Quentin King, and then openly since our prince 
Mrs. Iverson took the throne. The transfer of ownership has made was made official, sorry, in 2014. This gift is a strong signal sent to the warlocks by our prince. This place fulfills the rules imposed by its new owners and is an extension of the Hartford Chantry's domain. Our prince does not have jurisdiction there, and in the interest of cordial and diplomatic relations, any kindred who enter the premises uninvited will be subject to the laws of the Hartford Chantry. The prince has informed the court of the risks involved in going to the Jefferson Library without approval, even though relations with the Hartford Chantry are excellent. Okay, that was basically a whole long-winded thing of saying they got it, they don't like us. Oh, great stuff. Education. We're dumb. Can't read that. Uh, that's a map. Cool. Take a look. What is this? Domain Administration 2018. Annual Financial Report at Miss Iverson's Request. Ooh. Yeah, we don't love reading these little things. This report provides a summary of Mr. Jamewood's annual audit of the finances and administration of Miss Iverson's domain. The data provided by our wealth manager leads us to conclude that the accounting year was balanced for this year. The absence of any substantial profit is explained in part by the investments made in the development of the Red Salons, namely development and expansion of the Red Salon on Sellers Street owned by Dr. Richard Dunham, purchase of lab equipment, refrigerated cabinets, decoration and expansion of the bar area. Invents investment investment rather in dr dunham's research external laboratory expenses specific mortal test subjects okay uh purchase of several real estate properties for the expansion of the red salon chain another portion of the profits was transferred to the hartford chantry to support um formatology research as stipulated in the pre-unification agreements Mr. J. Moore reported that in July he had requested a detailed account of the expenses incurred, which, appear, which appears sorry, to have corrected some of the occasional excesses in their estimates. In this respect, we would like to empathize, emphasize that given his success in protecting our interests, it is strongly recommended, recommended that Mr. J. Moore's personal protection be maintained for the coming year. All right, uh, for 2019, okay, so they just have recommendations here, development of the Red Salons, expansion of real estate, and continued funding of the Hartford research. So pretty much just continue doing what we're doing, essentially. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, ooh, this looks covered. Really? Recover deleted messages technology. I don't have those abilities, so let's see. Abby, can you confirm that it's safe to come to Iverson's? I'm waiting for your reply. All right, let's see. Uh, where are you? I've been looking for you everywhere. This is from Kaltum Hamden. Sorry if I budget that name. And then from an unknown number, Code Red. Okay. Okay. Code Red is obviously the situation we find ourselves in where we're locked in. And we're trying to get it. I've got to hurry. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, okay. Okay, well, it's, no one's really stopping. Cool. Take. I don't know what it is, but take it. Magnetic key card. I wonder if that's for that door that we kind of already accessed. Uh, consult sheet, Provostan library. Okay. It's. These books are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Hazard we can just. Must have paid a fortune for them. Let's see. Can we eve? Yes, we can. This can't be happening. I swear, she was standing there playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played they dumb. Hurt me. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Downey. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. <sighs> but why would she need that? Why now? I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Uh, don't... Did we see that? Battery's dead. No, that battery was dead. Was this the page in here, I think? Maybe it was this page that she tore out. Or perhaps in the bowl, maybe? Is this page? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't even... I didn't, didn't even see that we could actually read the note. Um. Anyway, I need your help. Meet me as soon as possible in an alcove. I and then that. okay cool uh find where this torn page came from i think it was from so the archives was back this way 
let's see now that we have this card is there anything else that we can maybe interact with or no that we did already have a look perhaps now we can close that again hang on hang on hang on here we go here we go what is this observe carefully what? July 9th, 2019. Great. August 31st, 2019. September 14th, 2019. Someone took the file on the reunification party. Okay. So I wonder if that's what she took. Each. Interesting. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Great. Okay. Let's go find Journey. Uh, I think we're stumbling down our. Wait. Hope it's all right. Maybe we're stumbling down a rabbit hole that perhaps Secretary of Journey. Ooh, okay. Great stuff. Let's, let's... I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay. Okay, checklist. Uh venue reservation, okay. Venue setup, okay. Invitation sent, okay. Limo reservation, okay. Red salon vessel seen with Dr. Dunham, okay. Uh Dunham, sorry. Servant security, okay. Two more needed. No, trust me, we don't need more servant security today. We're, we're fine on that. Uh food for vessels and servants, check with Abby. And then lastly, check the level of secrecy with Jara. Now, she says okay. The only one that doesn't have okay is food for vessels and servants. But that, that seems inconsequential. So, check the level of secrecy, which obviously was breached because that's what the code read is about. It says okay. So, she must have checked it and made sure. We assume. We, we are assuming. Uh, Grange is not dead. It is so not. Thank you very much. Long live. Is it Kalasa? Jay, always oh, I'm not even going to try and her sire. Lucky bitch. Oh, her sire. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's obviously the the the, the vampire that made her, you know? Consult. What, what do we see? Jara to me. Okay, it says, I asked our retainers to arrive before sunset for more discretion. And then also, I'm still waiting for that paper. That's it. Okay. Then emails Her to... Message to Abigail. I need you to track down the file on the 1998 Solstice Party. Page 3 should be of interest to you. The file. Okay. I wonder where they put it. That could be of hmm. interest to me. So, Abigail popped up again. Wasn't... I think is this the is this the file? Boston Court, Miss Iverson, Coates, Underwood, Rory, Miss McAndrews, Mr. Dunham, Psyker. Okay. These are just the names of the unification party there. But now No. No no. Uh let's have a look. Let's, let's quickly go back here. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Jay always got along oh. well with her sire. Lucky. Her last message. So the 1998 solstice party. Right. That was not the 98 solstice. This was. Looks like the 19, the 2019 solstice. Oh, just. Uh, which I think. Which I think is actually what is happening at the moment. So let's have Boston, a look quickly. Boston, Boston. Uh, knows all of the city secrets. No, let's have a look here. We consult the sheet. Nope. Ready. Let's have a look at this These again. No. Lazarus must have paid a fortune for them. Let's have a look again in Abigail's office. Right. So we have that was just the history of the Jeff Library. This is she just keeps saying the battery is dead. That we assuming is the note from the book. So now we need to actually find said book. I don't think it's in. Let's have a look. Uh, that was the pager. 
See, this was just that same report that we read earlier. Huh. Not in her office. Pretty dumb place, I guess, to hold it. To, uh, now, this she keeps talking and making odd comments. Let's okay. see what she is. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a ma'am, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. Yeah. Maybe you back in the archives? Jay, what were you doing in the archives? Oh, hang on. I didn't even see this. Okay, hang on. There we go. Here we go. It's the one journey asked Abigail to look at. Okay. Um let's see here. At the request of our Prince Quentin King, uh the winter solstice will be celebrated at his home on the 21st of December for the entire night. At his behest, the celebration will be inspired by the masquerades in the European pagan calendar. Invitation message approved by our prince your esteemed prince, sorry, esteemed. Prince of Boston, Quentin King, does you the distinct honor of inviting you to the winter solstice celebrate. Oh, I'm sorry, this is actually in the. <clears throat> Inspired by the pagan masquerades, please come accompanied and above all, masked. You will be able to pledge your respects and allegiance to your revered prince throughout the longest night of the year. You are expected at 7:30 p.m. on 12 21 1998. Please note that refusal is not an option. The safety of N plus ones is not guaranteed. Okay. Okay. Cool. This is with a connection mm. to Journey's email and the page that was torn out at Abigail's. Journey asked Abigail to meet her in an alcove at the bar. Okay. Abigail, we've got to talk. We really got it. Things are heating up. Okay, uh, let's go find Abigail. Back at the bar. You fool. Oh, okay. He wasn't here before, was he? Mm -hmm. We haven't seen you here in ages. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would mm -hmm. be a shame if you've showed up too late. Showed up too late? But we can't do either. So that that's that's fantastic. Okay, so we can focus and... We can focus and try intimidation. The problem is, is that there's a 20% chance that he'll use focus as well. Right. Uh, we definitely... We can't even try persuasion. Um, what we can maybe, hmm, no, unfortunately, yeah, we, we just don't, you know what, can we, oh, we I don't think we can cut this conversation, because we could have consumed one of those to raise our willpower a bit more, which would have given us the chance to do intimidation again. Okay. We'll just have to drop you it. You rotten son of a bitch. I don't have time for this. If you say so, the pleasure was mine, man. So I'm... Say hello to your sire for me. Just as happy that my chemical romance is back together, but you need to take it easy on the eyeliner. It's, uh, or the eyeshadow, rather. Sorry. Yeah. Uh... We can talk to him again, Hi. so... Actually... Let's maybe try that. Just been silence trades, Boston. Uh, was that inventory? There we go. Uh, so we have. The t so this is restores two willpower. So I think we can use one for now. Let's have a conversation with him. How? Sorry, ma'am. I'm busy right yeah. now. Okay. I'm sure you have better things to do. Oh, uh, particularly. To be very honest with you. That was our... Previous prey items. We have... 
you no, we can't we can't do that how do we get in here maybe we can speak to sylvia again let's have a look yes no we can't this just says find abigail and question her about journey we're supposed to meet her at an alcove at the bar right Long as the Lazarus. Okay, so that's the same. Hmm. No, this wasn't Abby, was it? Can I yes, it was. Him? Of course. Okay. Okay. I told you I was looking for Jay earlier. And. You lied to me. I found the note she left you. I wonder what April would say if I showed it to her. You went through my stuff? Yeah, I went through your Is stuff, that dude. Is all you're worried about? Uh, no. It wasn't personal. Journey was in a panic. She asked me for the pass to get into Jara's apartment. Did she say why? Only that she was looking for evidence. I didn't really get it. Let's okay. keep this between us, all right? April's got other fish to fry. I'll see about that. I'm going to find her. Hmm. Where did Jara Jara's Jory's apartment. apartment first? That's on the prime engine floor. What was Jay looking for up there? So obviously Jara must have had something to do with the code red. She found out about it and wanted to prove that here we come. Can we? Or you just Miss Lewis. Maybe that's right. So she obviously again wanted to prove that Jara did in fact have something to do with this or plan to do something like this. Right. Let's have a look. We can't. Just Aren't the elevator to get here. Sure. So, okay. Indeed. Then obviously, no. Not. We need to. Oh, oh no. You again. Oh, it's what April. Okay. Good. April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. So you got... An... What? Uh... Oh, yeah. No, you see, the problem is to focus enough... Hmm. Mm and... Uh, no, that's... That's obviously... That's not... So... What is Jenny a risk? Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst, destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. Okay. You can tell me my lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Fair enough. What a point. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we can try and fail, I guess, but this is just not, I don't think it's really. So we'll talk. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, hmm. sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. I mean, were you though? Were you? Okay. We, so we can't go up there. Anything else? If That's... Zeus had chosen a flower to reign over all others, hmm. the rose would be queen. Let me see if I can consult her notes. Current business presentation of the annual report. Unification party starts in August. Five. A tour of Dr. Dunham's red salon. Can we have private this audience all night? Uh, meeting with Mr. Underwood at the management of the Red Salon. Meeting with Dr. Dunham on integrating the Formaturges, I think I'm saying that right, into the Red Salon. And then security review with Miss Rory and Mr. Leto. Uh, monthly meeting with Mr. J. Moore. Reread speech to the Primogen Council on October 21st. Come up with more authoritative ending. Very nice, very nice. I like that self hype. It's great. Um... Okay, all right. We can't talk to her. Let's have a look. What Ozzy's is she looking? looking for answers. We stare at the map right next to her. 
Um, I also really love that Bosley has a very, um, or it, it is, you know, proudly alopecia. I love that. That's awesome. Keep it up. That's cool. Um, also, something that I've obviously noticed. Wait, oh, we're back here. Okay. Right. Calm down. Go to Jaro Jory's apartment on the first floor. Can I help you? No, you are still. Okay, let's have a look. Have a look. No, is, is this the way we came in? What about this side, maybe? No, not there. Okay. How do we get to the first floor then? Oh, wait, maybe this curtain is finally on. No? The trail ends there. Where could she have gone after that? Oh. I know she went to bed. How do we get there? How do we get to the apartment? Am I missing something? Wait, no? Uh, no. Don't think we're gonna succeed much there. Let's have a look. Can we, can we interact with this? No, we cannot. Come on, Imani. Now's not the time. I, I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani. She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys. How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. Okay. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, well, he lied. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're oh. leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high-quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. Cool. I don't that, give a shit okay. about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Sure, but how? Yeah, but okay, we know where we need to go. We need to get up there. Right? Maybe the elevator again? I don't know. Not sure. Or, or, Rob, we could also take the stairs. That were right here. Or what do you know? Oh, no. Never mind. Let's just go straight to... Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. Okay, cool. Amazing what happens when you, you know, actually go up the stairs to the first floor where you're meant to be. Nope, we don't need to go there. Let's this see. door is locked. Oh. Yeah. Uh okay. Security is gonna be a problem, obviously. So assuming we need to find a key. Of course. Maybe in here. Lock. Who is this? This is uh oh oh no. No return action. Choices marked with indicate that there is no going back. Before selecting one of these options, make sure you're done with the area that you are exploring. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we can.
Yeah, so Swan Song is very uh, dialogue heavy. It's 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 very digital tabletop type of game. Um, it's 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 definitely going to be a lot of talking, a lot of uh, law, a lot of stuff like. Way. Shit. Ah, okay. So this what? is where you've been. Oh hurting. Jesus, it's you! You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really. I love her tattoos. Tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, mum. It's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So you're hiding in Jory's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was hmm. my only shot to defend myself against her. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. They don't have anything on you, do they? That I need to. No, of course not. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you? Oh. Oh. Take her to the prince or she should run. Oh, damn. Okay. Um... Hmm. Well, taking her to the prince is obviously the goal. I didn't get the vibe from Hazel that she was because she could also be calling Journey to find out one what happened or maybe she'll explain to her that she doesn't believe on the other hand I mean it is supposedly our friend she's saying she uh, I don't think she's obviously done anything wrong because from what we've seen in her office and everything, she did actually do her job properly. But running could make things worse. Okay, let's just take it to the It's gonna be fine, Jay. Yeah. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. Yeah, dude. I'll follow you. I mean, I would have appreciated the like in the apartment first but sure okay uh so we have leisha so yeah so periodically we will switch between um the characters of mm leisha and galeb and obviously we'll play each scenario as you know these these people um or as these characters sorry so she is an unstable seer from madness sometimes comes great clarity a wise prince knows how to recognize this rare talent in their subjects and give them the recognition that others deny them. So again, we're going to choose a profile where she's an investigator, jack of all trades, a veteran, which focuses on dialogue and physical attributes. Um, or we can have a profile with no attributed points. So last time, I think with MM, we went for a jack of all trades. Um, and a large scale, a large selection of skills allows for maximum number of interactions, but with less mastery. Hmm. So, we weren't really hindered too much by choosing this option um, the last time. Because even with Veteran, we have focusing on dialogue skills and physical attributes. Or the Investigator, which focuses on knowledge and skills that allow us to undercover, extort, or steal information. That could be interesting. Um... Well, also most of it, most of this is investigation most of it is obviously but also we have the dialogue and the physical attributes huh all right undercover extort or steal information this was just improving attributes and selection of skills okay so maybe let's go with veteran I think. Uh, uh. 
We have five available experience. Intimidation is at two. So we could maybe... Huh. Let's see. Yeah, it says five experience available. So what... Did we need to... Can we not? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it now. Uh, five experience. We're obviously very much not going to be able to do anything here. So I think for the meantime, we can move along. Laisha. It's good to see you. The Relasia. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubled. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better hmm. and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No, I'm the Prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist, but you don't need his permission for everything. Fair enough. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha, I know I can be frank with you. For four years, mm. I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. That was a long time ago, you know? I can barely... You helped me to foil conspiracies. Make the right decisions for the domain. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. Okay. So, children, uh, or Malkavian. Or lunatics. Psychologists would, uh, would diagnose the children of Malkav with schizophrenia, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, or post-traumatic stress disorder. Sometimes all at once. In reality, they have all of these things and none. Like the wise madmen of poetry, the derangement stems from seeing too much of the world at once. From understanding too deeply and feeling emotions that are too strong to bear. They self-medicate with blood, but that is just a temporary solution. It has been the misconception that few kindred families are as disparate as the clan of the moon. Other clans see them and reason they are each mad, so why should their respective origins matter? To the Malkavians, origins matter a great deal. Though sires may pick childer... Childer? I'm assuming... Okay. From all walks of life, age groups, ethnicities, and genders, every mortal selected for the embrace processes something, possesses something only visible to a Malkavian. One of the gifts Malkavians look for in a mortal is what they call second sight. If a person interprets dreams, can perceive spirits, or unerringly, sorry, unerringly predicts future events, the Malkavians take note. Such a person acts as a beacon, calling out to every member of the clan that sees them. Can we scroll down? Apparently, they don't want us to see what's happening. Okay. Oh, well. Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed. The most accurate. Detailed. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we signed our agreement with them. But this alert changes everything. I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything, hmm. possibly, about what happened tonight? See, so this is the thing with Prince Iverson. Like, granted, she's often after a specific goal, and that's why she'll do something, it seems. But she still doesn't seem irrationally blind to things. 
which is why I think taking Journey to her was still the right call. But anyway, uh, no, nothing at all. Uh, yes, but that's got nothing to do with. Let's not lie. Uh, I Rather saw not. images, but they had nothing to do with this party. It didn't make any sense. Okay. It was a long white hallway. It's a little early for sure, but it's a good start. I'm sorry. I can't be of more help. Don't be sorry. There's something else you can do for me. Your discretion can still hmm. be of use to me. I need to be sure that none of the members of my council are going to take advantage of the situation. Doesn't trust them. They not. <laughs> you don't trust them? You can never be too careful. You and Delson are the only two people I trust entirely. Oh, yeah. The members of the council have their council yeah. lodgings here. It gives them the impression that they have power. And it means I can keep an eye on them. I'm Very going crafty. to give you the key. Go and see if you find anything that could make me doubt their loyalty. Anything mm. that might make me think there's something in the works. Uh, all right. Miss Drury burned the midnight oil to make sure this event was secret. I imagine there might be some evidence in the information she gathered. I need it. All right, consider it done. You've never disappointed me, Laisha. Please don't start today. Until then, cool. I hope to have found more information. But above all, don't share what we've discussed with anyone. I don't need more gossip. Can I take Halsey with me? Of course. All right then. I'll be right back. So I've noticed the sound is a little bit different in different scenes. Even within the same conversation, different scenes will have uh, like a different sound profile. You know? Like some sound further away, some sound clearer, some sound... I don't know if that's maybe just my side or if you guys have experienced why do we have weird water reflections around us? Oi. They were there. No, we couldn't have used any, obviously. Give into or stay focused. Oi. No, just give into it. I guess it's kind of our job. Okay. Rise of Ebola in Boston. Be hmm. careful. Shit, they're gone. Oi. Okay, well, I guess. I'm going to Richard's to see if he has my teddy. Okay. Come and find me when you're done. Maybe Let's not. Let's see if Hazel yeah. was right. Did Jara leave anything behind? Okay. Let's... All right. Uh, first aid kit. No. Um, hmm. Push. Okay. Close protection reports. So, subject Mr. Jason Moore. Uh, report submitted by Mr. Wu. Right. Okay. I don't think that's anything important. Look at anything on the computer, maybe. Ah, we need to find a security code. Great stuff. Salmon? Oh, a log with a list of everything that was checked for the party. Invoices, reservations, rentals. All from our network. It's journeys. That could yes. be interesting. Yes. Please take. Please yeah. take. Thank you. Well, this thing Does she still use it? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Right. Can we... No, we cannot use 
Okay. All right. Does she still Fair use enough. it? Where are you? The time has come. PWD equals five. Sting. Okay. So we're looking for a key code. For uh, for uh, four-digit key code for the computer. So let's see. Right. Look at the picture. Picture that. Okay. Let's have a look here. What does this say? Jara, I would have liked to give you this bond that you've been waiting for for so long, but I can't bring myself to condemn you to my situation. Don't be afraid. You will never. I will never abandon you, Yara. Never. We're bound together forever. We are one. Since that first night, that first instant, nothing can ever keep us apart. I promise. Okay. So Tommy Lee Jones has been writing to Yara. Because we all know that many black know that vampires exist. That's just given. Let's have a look. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Huh? No? What was that? Was that anything? No. No, that was just a light. It seemed odd that we could open without maybe no. But help us. Aha! So this yes, so I was gonna say this ob obfu obfuscate. Say that for Um Oh we didn't do we haven't fit. That is a problem. Maybe. But anyway, sorry, yes. So this is basically the ability to hide something. Um like camouflage it in a sense. And it seems auspex is how we would then be able to uh, you pick those up and interact with them. okay so a summary of individual files on the hotford chantry mr osborne regent of the hotford chantry ambitious and paranoid extremely skilled in uh thaumatogy favors unification but mentions escape routes in his private communications to be monitored visits the jefferson library once a month miss wakefield we have mr samuels and mr fleming who else we have miss vance we have mr woods um, Mr. Green, Mr. Chen, and Miss Halstead. Okay. This is what Hazel asked me to bring her. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Halsey or investigate other members of the Prime Agent. No, we're going to investigate the other members. We're definitely going to investigate. Let's just double check and make sure everything here. Well, this thing's old. Does she yeah. still use it? So there is a clock there that's timed, I would say, maybe 222, 0222. Let's see, maybe. No. Uh, what else could it be? 210? Definitely, obviously, wouldn't be 10. Because it wouldn't be 22 either, Rob. Come on. Honestly. Honestly. 0252? Two? Two? Damn it. Okay. Maybe 0251? Because that's very clearly... Hang on. Is that 10 to 2? Yeah. Very clearly 10 to 2. Which would actually then make it 1... I... I don't remember how to read a clock, apparently. Uh, 0152, maybe? No. 0150, no. 0151, no. We're just gonna. Okay. Uh, e. 3? Maybe one three five three one three five three maybe no. Uh, I thought maybe it would have some, but but no, but no, but no. Okay, maybe the I think the code's probably 
in the box or something to that effect. So let's go see if we can maybe get some little bit of uh, thirsty thirsties. Get some Kool-Aid going. And then we can... Hey, hang on. There is a note. I read that note already. And it had no code on it. Okay. Right. Anyone here? No? It would be nice if we could just... You know. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it could be nice if we just moved a little bit faster. See, so we have the key now to actually access these rooms. Nobody here. I'm going to be able to take a look around Dijon's. Okay. Very, uh... Very much what I imagined it to be, to be honest. Because of course he has a giant saxophone and... Or multiple jazz equipments. Equipments? Instruments? That's the... The Salem Gazette. Okay. City Council has found a new home for the Sisters of Salem at the Salem Library in recognition of the organization's work in sharing and supporting our local history. While many know of the group thanks to the annual organization of their Hello Mars and the Mighty Dead and Martyr celebrations, what's less well known is their implication with people in need throughout the rest of the year. The host newcomers to the area troubled youth and older citizens who are isolated, by they hope. The Sisters of Salem have an extensive network of volunteers and they are joined by about a dozen new members of the community should be proud of the unity and mutual support shown by all our fellow citizens. From their participation in the celebrations to their participation in the social and cultural volunteering done by this organization, declared the mayor after the city council meeting. And she was also very proud to announce that her spouse had joined the Sisters of Salem the previous month. Inauguration planned for tonight at the Salem Library by invitation only. Right. So let's leave through. Equipment. Cauldron, ingredients, raven, corn, raven droppings, corn, straw, ew. Uh, blood magnet. Magnet, silver bowl, own blood. Awfully original. Uh, concealment ritual. So we have knife, candles, ingredients, fresh birds, blood, skull, white candle wax. Candles, white satin ribbon. Have seen the prey beforehand. Illuminated ritual. Trial. Trail. Sorry. Prey must not go underwater or cross a body of water. And then restoration ritual. Candles, skull, ingredients, own blood, sacrificed animal. Okay. What the? Okay, now. Just like Mr. Orleans. Florida? This no, that's not New Orleans. Place. That's Florida. Look at that. Who has an elegant amount of their ceiling except for any Floridian ever? No. No, man. So, do better. Well, well. What have we here? Okay. My dear sister, I hope this letter will reach you quickly. Things are critical here. It appears that we've been the target of a major incident. A code red has been issued and we have not heard from those who had already gone to the party. Our prince had organized for the unification. This could be in our favor because it's possible that the Hartford Chantry is behind it. Although I faithfully served my prince's interests while negotiating this treaty, these new suspicions could serve, serve our interest in relation to a potential alliance between Boston and Salem. Rest assured that ellipsis. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. He didn't finish his letter. But that'll be enough for Hazel to make up her mind about him. Analyze scene, observe. A bird. Dead. Sure. Okay. Um. See, it would be as nice as the choices to decide about the the um. You know, jack of all trades and stuff in the beginning it would also be nice to be able to kind of know what this what, what this next scenario is going to be like because the previous one was very much more about dialogue over investigation whereas this one is much heavier on investigation so it would be nice to have known that because obviously we would have picked investigator or as each character in each, each scene differentiates you know, each character has, like, for example, Laisha could be a more investigator. So the investigative sections of the game could be heavily focused on her. And, you know, as with Caleb and, and um, Caleb, sorry, and uh, MM. So, yeah. Great. Fantastic. Great stuff. Hmm. 
It's from an animal. Well. And it's still fresh. Okay. What ritual? Um. Yeah, it's still fresh as we see the freshly cut bird and stuff on the... Great deduction skills. Great deduction. If we go back here. We have a raven, corn droppings, corn straw. So a raven was back there, but we saw no cold. No, we have fresh bird's blood. Although we haven't seen a skull, white candle wax. We have seen a knife. The concealment. Concealment ritual. Maybe that's who concealed the box. Because we have restoration, which is candle, skull, own blood, sacrificed animal. Concealment would make more sense. Okay. So let's... I tell you what, let's, let's quickly have a look as... Have a look in this door. Can we get through this door? Yeah, we can. Ah, that just... Yeah. So I think let's... Let's see if we can get this box unveiled indeed but will we not share it just it says two why do we need four or maybe our all specs isn't high enough let's have a look let's have a look at disciplines It has no blood cost reveals interactions related to the five senses. Um, okay. We have Auspex Vision reveals interactions related to the memories of an item that depends on your rating. The difficulty of the interaction. Okay. Then up. The aura of a target. Reveals if your opponent's preparing to focus their skill on. Read your hmm. But then I'm not understanding. What uh what what else do we need yet? Because we've got all specs. It says we need or it says we're gonna gain two thirst. Okay, so why can I not guess this? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's fantastic. But we still don't have a combination for that computer. Uh, hang on. No PWD because that I suppose password, but we can't because it's we need numbers, not. Hang on a second. What does this clock say? What is that one? Five past eight. So uh, zero eight zero five, maybe. By that. Zero eight zero five. No. Okay. All right. We're useless. We're bad detectives. Let's go on and check. Yeah, let's go to Halsey. I think. To be honest. Oh shit. Uh, Locked from the other side. Well, that's why we need that other door. Right. Rest. We couldn't open this one. No. No. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. That was that was definitely weird. Okay. Hello, servant. Indeed. Why won't you? Okay, so we have to we use the key i have a feeling we obviously can't get through here because i'm sorry i can't ah. let you through cool. hazel told me to keep a low profile here this area is reserved for the prince and her primogen shit hilda's in her office she's going to see me okay okay so this is the ob obfuscate sorry 
Uh, unseen passage allows you to move around without being seen in this state. It is not possible to physically interact with the environment. You may, however, stealthily read a document or examine. This power will be activated automatically if you enter a location that is Okay, so we have Hilda McAndrews. I didn't get too close. She might be able to sense me. Yeah. Why did you come back? Why? Other than to show that you're doing just fine on your own. If you only knew everything I've done for you. Ma'am. I was just gonna say. She is with Hazel. I hope she'll be happy to hear that. Okay. So she said, don't get too close, otherwise, she might sense it. So let's do that. If we. Can we get rid of the veil? We cannot. Yes? No? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like we can. So. Hmm. Let's, uh. Well, let's just leave her be. We have Beryl. God, what a name. Beryl. If we have anything from Beryl. Probably. Doubt it. He's wondering why his door just opened. You know? Okay. Um, hmm. This would simply be his. Wonder. Dear Mr. Underwood, as agreed, here's our payment. Thank you for your confidentiality. You are indirectly contributing to one of the greatest forensic discoveries of our time. If by any chance you still have bloodless bodies in con good condition to offer us, sorry. Please let us know sincerely, Dr. Aaron Par Parsons, Boston Medical Center. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Anything else we can have a look? Here's a report you requested attached. You will find all the documents I was able to gather. Unfortunately, I was unable to collect much useful information about Miss Feng's time in China, but it may not have been the most interesting period of her life. Fairly typical education, exactly what would be expected of the upper class. What is a little less expected is that shortly after her arrival in the U.S., she was admitted to the economics department of MIT. This was in large part thanks to her publications on the blue economy, which led her to join the Diora ratification project in the Indian Ocean. At the same time, she defended her dissertation on blue technology, biotechnology, which I recommended that she read in its entire team. You can imagine that someone of her ilk was highly sought after. She was wooed by major multinational companies before she was even graduated. So this was the lady that we spoke to in the office uh, downstairs. However, she refused all the offers and instead founded her own startup company, Newman Feng Blue Tech. From one round of fundraising to the next, the company quickly became a reference for any group that was looking to make over their image to appear a little greener. If you browse their website, you quickly realize how important many of their clients were. As for the more confidential information, I learned that secret, uh, sorry, several governments, in particular Luxembourg and Canada, recently reached out to her for the moment it's only a matter of advice and informal discussions but the speed with which she has broadened her influence is highly impressive my conclusions regarding her are the following she's brilliant one might imagine that she is an idealist but while her actions do seem to me to be guided by an ideological perspective she's extremely pragmatic in integrating herself into the upper echelons of society What's more, she has true business acumen as her startup is one of the most successful in the country. You have every reason to take an interest in her. I could set up a meeting with her if you'd like. Your eternal servant, Jason Moore. Jason sounds a little bit too keen. I mean, let's see if there's anything on his desk. Dear sir, Ms. Iverson is honored to invite you to the Grand Unification Party in the presence of representatives of the Heart Chantry. Your presence at these festivities is requested the evening of September 4 at 11pm at 1 Place, Boston. 
the greatest respect and consideration. By the way, refusal is not the path. Okay. Let's have it. Let's. Leisha. Hmm. Restricted access means nothing to you, I see. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. Interesting. Didn't expect that kind of response from him. Maybe that was a bad idea. Probably was a bad idea, but that's fine. It's Beryl. Richard Dunham. Well, well. Richard's apartment. Hmm. So this was our psychiatrist. This was what. This was the same uh, person who committed us to the, <laughs> I guess the, ins the, the asylum. As usual. So look, dear Dr. Dunham, as instructed, I have prepared the donors you listed for the unification party. Oh, right. This is where we meet um, Hazel. Uh, not Hazel, sorry. Our other friend. They'll be ready for you to pick up at 9 p.m. at the Red Salon. I think that your guests will be impressed by the quality of the vintages you are offering them. And I hope that they will fully appreciate the fruit of your labor. Dr. Teddy. You're crazy. No. Richard always um, asks. Like all children of Malkov. Sure. Okay. Interesting. Great. Because we don't really need to hide. Oh, yeah. So let's search. Maybe I'll find a way to read it. A floppy disk. Fantastic. So, okay. did you find your teddy? No, I'll see. That's dead. the name. I'm not sure he's here. What about you? Did you finish your job for the prince? Yes, I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Uh, I'm not done yet, no. Not quite, Pumpkin. I want to take another look around. You wait for me here, but be good. I will. Okay. Cool. We'll <clears throat> Let's see, what else? <sighs> How many hours have I spent sitting in this armchair for my therapy sessions? He must hmm. be hiding somewhere else. Must he be? Unless he is hidden. Archived confidential report 1978. March 6th. Unknown origin 13 members of the court. Court. Sorry. 13 members of the court. Caught in a sudden collective panic for several months. Um. Quentin King, our prince, called for an investigation, no, closed without yeah. any conclusive findings in 1998. She just scared the living bejesus out of me after a prescribed 10 years of investigation. Um, okay, that 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 was that was fun. Let's see, analyze system. Nothing. It's mm. true that he always saves everything on old media. We consult. Please insert storage medium. We have the floppy. Let's insert the floppy. That's what she said. Dear Miss Iverson, as per your request, Mr. Underwood came to the Red Salon to carry out a review in view of the collaboration of the Hartford premiere. We can confirm that production can triple if we expand operations into our base. I think it would be wise to create a reserve and allocate only one third of our production to Hartford. We will also provide a temperature controlled storage area for this purpose. As for your more practical questions, please do not include the formulas I have been able to work out in your dealings. Uh, Mr. Underwood also feels that we need to keep them secret in order to keep the advantage in this agreement. We both feel that convincing them to send Tremere to Boston to perform the blood stabilization tests would be a better alternative. As for an industrialized production of more than 400 units per week, I prefer to err on the side of caution. I am able to produce everything alone in my laboratory. Aiming for more at the start would require a move and would surely get us noticed by our supplies of raw material. I hope to have provided you with the missing information for your discussions on this agreement, which, in addition to the giant step forward that it will make possible for science, will undoubtedly be the dawn of a new Boston under your reign. Sincerely yours, Dr. Dunham. Okay. Richard must have had a breakthrough. 
Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm sure we can find Teddy some. So we can def. Should we? we? Yes, we. The bag, possibly. No. Let's have a. Let's find Teddy. Unless Terry is. No, not there. Where are you, Mr. Teddy? Huh. Okay. Uh, maybe Mr. Teddy isn't here. All right. Are you almost done? Yes. I cool. found something that yeah. might I think be we can interested. go back to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Indeed. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, sugar face. I didn't Alicia. speak to Beryl about the information. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Mm. Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests, including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Denem Osborne? Yes. Mm. He seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? Okay, I was able to spy on Hilda. I went to Dijon's room. I had a premonition and I picked up a file on our security. Uh, yep, yeah, let's do Hilda. Hilda was in her room. She was acting strangely. What do you mean? She was whispering things, talking to a picture of a man. Touching, but that's of no importance. Mm. At Dijon's, I found a letter addressed to the Saiyan Chantry. Did he betray me for the warlocks? I don't know. It just said that he's participating in your project. But that he would have preferred an agreement with Salem. Oh, I understand his recent illusions a little better now. I'm going to need to have a word with him. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Yeah, we had a premonition. I had a vision. I knew you would. What did you see? Was I in your vision? Damn, lady. I think it was me. My forehead was on fire. The... I... All right. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it could mean? Not in the slightest. Are you disappointed? The important thing is that you're starting to have visions again. Hmm. Don't talk about MM journey. No, but I think it's good that, yeah. You know. It happened when I was in Jara's office. I just found Journey going through her things. But she's not allowed to be there. MM joined her almost immediately. What did they say to each other? I couldn't hear what they said. That's when I had the premonition. Mm. That's too bad. But you didn't fail. I promise. Don't worry about it. Just focus on your visions. Uh, okay. I also found that at Jara's, a file on the party. It's a record of everything Journey did. That could be useful. Give it to Delson on your way out. Anything else? No. That's all I was able to find. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Leisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon, as that's where he does his research. I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. Mm. I'm sorry, Leisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. Andrew? We'll leave right away. Hmm. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you, Leisha. Okay, so that was the first scene done.
Okay, so each scene ends with an overview of your accomplishments, failures, and what you could have done differently. For each success, your character earns experience points. Right. Uh, okay, so success, you let the premonition overtake you. You gave the prince documents that were certainly clear. Journey's name, thank you. That is all I really wanted. That was my only goal. Uh, you listened in to hear what was on Hilda McAndrew's mind. You found a letter from Dijon confirming his preference for the Salem Chandry. Sorry, and you told the prince about what was in uh, Dijon letter alternative you could have spied on the conversation between mm yes but we didn't need to because we had that conversation already and you could have discovered beryl underwood's preoccupation uh yes yeah that, that we definitely could have done um that is one percent true so cool that's that's um can we let's have a look mm come here down lady yes Mem, you've brought me journey. I knew I could count on you. Uh, was there something else she wanted? What's she gonna? Jay is waiting in the antechamber. She's nervous. Tell Delson to go easy on her. We'll see about that. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right. I'll be waiting in the next room. Oh. Huh. But why? Is she... What? Okay. Okay. Uh, traits. Put her. Put it in her place. Minus 10 to the next experience. Cost for the mental. So success. We obeyed the prince. Journey followed us to the princess. Um, you spied on a conversation about Journey. You were able to retrace journey steps before she left thanks to her scent and resonance bound a bonus sorry is celerity uh, alternative you could have tried to convince journey to flee so okay so we didn't really fail anything uh which is i think the the good part really um we just want success alternatives are fine uh, that's 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 okay as long as you know failure is just the the thing that you want to make sure doesn't happen that is the obvious goal. Okay, so Galeb Bayzeri, obviously Eternal Protector. Um, cool. So let's think about this. So last time we chose Veteran, right? Um, Mortal Kings had their lackeys. The Princes of Boston have Galebs. While rulers come and go, Galeb remains, and his presence tonight is not reassuring. Okay, so this would definitely lend him in terms of personality towards the veteran trait. Uh, okay, maybe. Huh. I'm gonna yeah, let's. I'm gonna stick with veteran again because that seems um, definitely seems persuasion, psychology, intimidation, rhetoric. Right. Yeah, I think we could. Well, I mean, we can definitely apply because we've got nothing really to add you. so let's let's definitely do that right i like that moon in the wall it's really cool hmm my prince Very interesting that they use Prince, Delsa. whether it's female or male. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Hmm. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Caleb. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. Who was there from our side? Any word from Hartford? How many of us were there? Probably a good 20, give or take. Dr. Dunham and our top spy, Jara Drury, were already there. Mm, we might have lost two members of the Primogen. Hmm? What about Hartford? Have you heard from them? If those dogs had anything to do with what happened, I'll cut their throats myself. Do you think they might be involved? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah? 
It's too early to draw any conclusions. Oh, where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Anseli heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius with Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Galen. Hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for, for this episode. Um, things are getting interesting. Things are getting getting interesting. We've finally sort of met all of the characters now. We've met MM, we've met Laisha, and we've obviously met Galeb. Uh, when we come back, we will pick up with Galeb where we left off. We'll need to find Caius. Um, but we cleared Journey's name, and I think that was the big thing. Um, that's, a, that's a really big win. And... Uh, yeah, it's very interesting to see where this will go. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, why not click the like button and consider subscribing while you're there. Um, it also helps the channel, but also makes dolphins happy. And we all like that. So I will catch you guys around next time. Thank you so much for joining. I really do appreciate it. Cheers.